Welcome to the first tutorial of modding DRG. First of all, you, you should go to the Skeleton Crew Discord and read this guide, which is much more detailed than the video, but this video will help you understand modding better than just reading the guide. And then you need to download this zip, which will have uh, all the tools that you will need to, to mod the game. Um, first of all, we're going to sa start with uh, setting up the DRG packer which we're going to need to pack mods and unpack mods um, you just uh, zip it from the on the file and we're gonna have to pass in here because they are gonna be different for your PC uh, first of all you should probably go to Epic Games and download uh, the store so you can install Unreal Engine. Uh, the version that you need for Dubrock is Unreal Engine 4.25 and it's also explained in the guide so you should have no problem downloading, downloading that. So once you have that uh, we are gonna use this tool called unrealpack.x and we can find here it's in the Unreal Engine folder and uh, we're gonna need to uh, to put the path to that file in in two of uh, these ones. And these are just bad files that you can double click and they will execute this command in the terminal. Um, first, uh, w this is the pack uh, command. So you're gonna need to put uh, your a real pack path here. Uh, it may be different for you, but just go to where the Unreal Engine install it. And probably program files, Epic Games, and then Unreal Engine, and just copy the whole path here with the .x here. And then we have this is the second argument, uh, which is the name of a, a new pack file that you're going to create. And all the names for the mods are going to to have this suffix, which is under, underscore uh, an uppercase P. Uh, you need this for the game to load the, the pack and this name can be whatever you will see once we install a mod. This is the default uh, path to the packer in my C drive but I'm going to be using this one that I just extracted in the desktop just as, as an example of what you should do. Once you got the path to your real engine here you need to put the path to your DRG packer here so just click here to grab uh, the whole path and then write the name that you want for the, your new pack. It doesn't matter that much, just needs to have the this at the end. And you can then put uh, whatever name here or just rename it when you after you create it. And then uh, here in the same directory, uh, what you put here, uh, we're gonna write down the, the input txt then just put it here and this will be the whole command for your packing process um, in input txt uh, we're gonna have this first argument which is on the, the folder where you're going to put uh, the new files that you modified for the game so uh, as default is going to be input and content you're gonna put here all the files and you will see how which files you want to put here in the next tutorial which is which is the hex tutorial but for now uh, I will show you an example later with one of my mods and here you just put the directory that the files are gonna be in related to the folder structure of the game so just leave it like this and you only need to have input and then content folder and you need to fill this with with stuff so this should this should stay the same and this should be the path to the to the packer uh, here with uh, the the input folder and then for the last one which is unpack uh, you're gonna put the real engine path here and then the path to your packer here you can add a new folder which is which will be created when 
you unpack the game in this folder right here. So um, I'm going to show you how to how to unpack the game now. So if you go to Steam, look at this awesome banner. <laughs> if you go to properties on the rock, uh, local files, browse local files, and FSD content packs, and I recommend making a shortcut to the pack folder and put it in the desktop so or wherever you want. So it's easier to access this folder because you're going to install the mods here in this folder. And now we're going to need the, this file, which is the main pack from the game. We're going to drag this here, or no, actually you need to copy it, no, don't delete it. So you should never delete this or the game won't work. Um, and now that we have the file here and our unpack with this command, we just we just drag the file into unpack. We will get this this uh, window. I had an issue, and because of my name has a, a tilde in it, <laughs> the real pack didn't recognize that character, and it, I couldn't pack it. So. Uh, the DRG packer in the desktop should work fine for you unless you have some weird characters in your name like I do. <laughs> so I'm just using the my default uh, packer installation now which is in C drive. You can also put it in here, the same locations as I have in the in the default files that I put in the in the zip. But you you need to create this these folders here in the C drive or or just do whatever I did before and put your own paths until unless they have uh, weird charters so you should probably put them in a folder that you can access easily like in C drive instead so again we have uh, our main file here we just drag it into unpack and we'll get this terminal I just need to wait for a few minutes and you will get all the files from the game unpacked here in this folder. Okay, now that this is finished, just press whatever to exit. And then you'll have this file, this folder, and uh, with this inside, and this inside. You can delete the engine folder, we don't need that. Uh, you can delete all of this, we don't need that, we only need the content folder. And you'll have all the files from the game here. It's uh, a lot of files, like 60,000. Um, now I advise you to make a backup of this folder somewhere and never change the files so this should be your backup folder with all the original files from the game if you want to mod to make a mod of one of the files just copy one of the original ones uh, somewhere and start making the mod but don't touch these files and uh, it's pretty important to have a backup just in case um, I'm gonna show you one of my mods. Uh, how to? We don't need the packer. This packer you can delete it as long as you don't delete the one in the in the, fo in the game folder. And this is one of my mods. I can unpack it. Has like a few files. It's here and unpacked. And this is all the files from the mod with the folders and stuff. And then if you want to pack it again, imagine you just made this mod. Uh, this is uh, the folders that you can see here in content. So these are all folders from the game, the same folders in the structure. So audio mods, weapons, and this is one that I made just for custom audio, just to keep it organized. And imagine you just make this mod, you just made this mod and then you want to put your files in content. And then uh, for example, if you modded, uh, I think in this case I'm mo I modded one of the drillers grenades. So in weapons and tools, this is the original files, and this is the model files. You have the same folder structure. So weapons, tools, grenades, um, high explosive grenade, and I only modded this one file, which is high explosive So I only need that file, but I need the whole folder structure for that file. And that that's for each file that you change. For example, I change audio, and this is just a custom audio that I made. And then, and once you have everything in content with the same folder structures as the original, the original files, but 
with the model files of course and you just uh, drag this here into pack and you will get the pack back and you can rename it to whatever and install it in your your pack folder which should be somewhere here yeah and I just start a game and you can see the changes in, in the armory if it's a hex mod that took some some weapons if it's uh, stuff like perks or enemies you will need to start a mission to check the changes um, I have I have one last thing to explain to you uh, you also have this folder called uh, empty content hierarchy in in the modding zip in the discord skeleton crew discord so what you have here is just all these folders that we extracted from the game but they are all of them empty so if you want to replicate the path to one of the files and you don't want to create each one of the folders one by one you can have this uh, here and just drag it in here and you will get all the file uh, folders from the game and you can just go wherever the the original file was and drop it the new one here and uh, I'm gonna make some tutorials now about hex editing and also how to use the the parser which will be will be really useful to check values for the hex mods and that's all for packing and unpacking and setting up the the RGE packer